that you want to talk about engineering with me today. What different types of engineers are there? As you know from your rap, there are engineers all different so kinds of engineers, but they have one thing in common. They use math and science to solve problems. How many can I think of? Civil, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, aerospace, aeronautical, nuclear, environmental. Oh gosh, I'm probably just scratching the surface. Hi, Amir. Hi, Sarah. And I thought you might be able to tell us a little bit about what kind of engineer you are. The energy engineer really looks at the energy impact of how we design the buildings, you know, how much energy it uses, how much electricity, how much gas. So, Miss Sarah, what type of engineer are you? I'm a lighting engineer, and I work with architects and electrical engineers and the rest of the design team to figure out how we bring daylight into the building and how we arrange the lights in spaces so they really shine. So do you have to check on the buildings you help design? We certainly do have to check on our buildings. And right now, I've got two friends who want to tell you all about the buildings they're checking in on. Hey, Sam. My name's John, and I'm a structural engineer. And that means it's part of my job to make buildings like this one behind me stand up by designing all of those steel beams and columns that you see in the background here. Hey, Sam. I'm Gretchen. I wanted to show you what electrical engineers do double E's. We're in the field and we're installing panel boards. I designed it. Anything that goes to your computer, all the power that goes to it, I help get it there. Sam, are you ready to think like an engineer? I already am one. I built something. What did, what you, did you build? I'm going to get it. Well, I hope that some of the stuff that we talk about today is going to help you build a strong building because that's exactly what engineers do. I want to talk about gravity first. Have you ever heard of gravity? Yes, it's that stuff that makes you go down. If we didn't have any gravity, then we would all float up and up and up and up and up and up and up. When we are thinking about making buildings, we have to know all about gravity if we want to make buildings really tall, right? So I thought we'd start with doing some stacking of the cups and seeing how tall of a tower you can make with the cups that you have. Ooh. I told you! Ooh. I knew that would come you were gonna do that. And so what are you noticing? Has anything fallen yet? Not yet. Are you having to balance oh, things? Oh, hold on, hold on. I think I need more at the bottom. All right, here comes the, the part that you probably love the most about gravity. Now make them all come down. <laughs> so let's talk about shapes, squares and triangles, right? So can you make a triangle real quick? Perfect, all right, I got mine too. All right, now let's make a square. Same it looks like it's made out of fruit snacks. It, it is made out of fruit snacks. I didn't have any dummies. <laughs> All right, now, Sam, can you make me a square? There we go. All right, good. I don't have to hold the cup. So I want to have another structure building contest. And I want to see how tall can you go? So both of these are the same height, roughly, right? We're both about two toothpicks tall. And we're both about the same amount. So now let's give them a shake. What happened? Oh, they're both pretty good. They're both pretty good. Give it a bigger shake than that. Oh, no! <laughs> That's actually pretty good. That's a pretty sturdy thing. <laughs> that base really did hold up. Thank you, Miss Sarah, Mr. Chris, and all of my new friends from Canada Design. It was easy. Exciting. Well, that's all for today. <laughs>